Alright guys, we got another new Killer First Impressions playthrough and today we are going to be using Pinhead or the Cenobite. Uh, and let's just jump straight over to his character info. Um, first his perk, Deadlock. Uh, any generator that's repaired, the entity will immediately block the generator that has the most progress for 30 seconds and it's going to show me that generator's aura in white. So not only blocking people for half the minute on the one that's closest to being done, um, it also may tip me off to, hey, that one's close. There's probably survivors over there. So that sounds hugely powerful. The next one is a hex-based perk. Um, any time I hook a survivor for the first instance, they become cursed, and this uh, perk activates on adult totem. The survivor becomes cursed. They suffer from oblivious until somebody cleanses that totem. That survivor can see the totem Zara revealed to them when they're within 16 meters of it. And for the first minute and a half only, only that cursed survivor can be the one to cleanse the totem. After 90 seconds, it's fair game from anybody. His final perk, uh, Scourge Hook, Gift of Pain. Uh, just like most of the other Scourge Hook perks, four random hooks will be changed to white. I'll be able to see their auras. When a survivor gets unhooked from a Scourge Hook, they suffer from hemorrhage and mangled until they are fully healed. The first time they're healed, they suffer a 16% speed penalty to healing and repairing actions until they are actually injured again. So kind of interesting. Gets a negative status effects, uh, but with an interesting twist. Um, the Cenobite is on the fastest speed archetype, 4.6 meters per second, and the largest terror radius of 32. Now his power is Summons of Pain, that's his chains. Uh, you press the power button. Once it opens a gateway, you release it to open it. So press it, create it, release it to open it. Once it's opened, I tap my ability button and then I can summon forth a possessed chain that I get to direct and I direct it into a survivor to bind them. Anybody that gets bound by my chain cannot sprint. They are slower and they can get further decreases on their speeds if I get them hit with a second or a third chain respectively. They have the option to break out of my chains and then the limit configuration, that's the box uh, from Hell, Hellraiser if you know the box. Uh, if it's left alone, uh, it's going to initiate chain hunts by summoning chains to pursue survivors. So that will happen intermittently and there will be a survivor that has to carry the box and will be afflicted with oblivious. Chains will be occasionally summoned <laughs> out of the portal to attack them and they have to solve the puzzle box to end that chain hunt and get rid of the box from being in their possession. While they're doing that, I can see their location and teleport to it. So that's pretty huge. I can slow people down and teleport to whichever survivor has to solve the box. And then it says, whenever I pick up the box, uh, a chain hunt gets activated again, so it will start seeking out survivors. And then in addition to that, all survivors are gonna be instantly bound by chains and they will scream and reveal their locations to me. And the box will respawn in a new location anytime a survivor or I have used it. So this seems like um, all about slowing people down, teleporting to who's got the box, and finishing them off quickly while they're under the effects of my change. Sounds pretty cool. It does say he's a very hard difficulty player, uh, killer, so I may have to take a few stabs at this to get comfortable with him, but he sounds really fun, so I want to jump into him. I have not uh, gone into his blood web or set up his loadout, so I'm just going to have one perk to start. For me, it's definitely going to be deadlock, um, though uh, I'm going to see the generator with the most progress for 20 seconds. Um, so yeah, block. I mean, not not as good as the purple perk level for 30, but 20 still nothing to sneeze at. And I think that still would be useful and play into my ability to see things around the map. So without further ado, I'm gonna jump right in and test out the Cenobite. All right, indoor hospital map. <clears throat> box has been sent out. Yep, we got a flashlight boy over here. Running through the corridors. 
he did not double back. Or she, I guess it's Ania. Sorry, Nia. Had to happen. She pushed left. Dead ahead. I've got eyes dead on her. She ran up. Still have eyes dead on her. And she goes down. Get her up. Drop down and grab this hook right around the corner. Do this cell. All right, that's one within the first minute so far. So good, not bad, not bad. I do know that there's somebody back here. Oh yeah, that's a mistake. Like, yo, you, you know I see you, yeah? What in God's name are they doing? Not sure exactly what this is about. Maybe they were AFK to start. I have no idea. But uh, that's that's another quick down. We'll get them up on a hook. So that's one hook on two of them. I must be going now. And I see scratch marks back here. So there's absolutely somebody running nearby. Yep, yep, yep. They're running. They ran through here and through here. Yep, I see them. It's men. She ran straight through, so this will be our third survivor with a hook. Now you must come with me. Gotta say, he's got some of the best audio in the game. Just terrifying. The Cenobite. <laughs> You summoned me. I came. That teleport's hugely powerful. I don't know why they keep running back to stand and spawn. That's just a weird flex. Very, very weird. I don't know what it is this team is doing. It's strange. I mean, it's nice because it's giving me a relatively easy feel for pinhead but I don't know what it is this this team is doing here I must be going now. they seem to be struggling pretty hard with movement across the map All right I see scratch marks somebody ran through here they turned left turned right turned left went all the way down the hall Turn right through here. Yep, dead ahead. Push back through. I too will push back through. I see him dead ahead. They should have kept looping, if I'm being honest. That was the safer play. Tragic. All right, and I think that's going to be one down and subsequently hook for all of them now. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's right. Oh, that's tragic. Got a flashlight user there. Let's go ahead and break this for the future. Her buddy's not going to save her from this. She's going straight up on my hook through this door. And there's more scratch marks nearby. Wow, it's like they just have nowhere to run from me. It's very strange the way this team is playing. It's very strange. Yep, that's uh, not a good idea to flashlight me. We've already got one dead. Flashlight's right here by a hook. I am just uh, really keeping constant pressure on them. They are really struggling to get much time to focus on these generators.
pushing through this same path as last time. I hear him running. Yep, I see him. I saw you, bud. That's unfortunate. You're coming with me, Nia. And I don't think they have another flashlight left. Which is unfortunate for them. But we've got this hook back here in this cell again. This is her second hook, I think? You summoned me. So long me. as they're not focusing the generators, I that's what we came. need. They're hiding back here. I mean, I just can't even imagine. What a cool ability. That's so cool. What a terrifying killer to go against. Pinhead, oh my lord, this is just... I don't want to say it's not fair, but it's brutal. I mean, he is just terrifying. I would say that he is easily one of the most terrifying killers in this game. I mean, just the way that he functions is unbelievable. So that's my final hook. That ought to be GG's. That is indeed GG's. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, yeah, I mean, I don't want to say he's easy because I don't think that he is easy to use, especially the timing and the multiple pulls and the lining up and having to have just the right line of sight for his, like, really big ability. But, man, he's really, really fun to use. Just absolutely a menace. He is an absolute menace. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. I will be certainly going through the blood web to open up more abilities and start coming up with interesting builds. He was a very, very fun one. My verdict is, yeah, very fun. Probably not for a beginner killer, but very, very fun if you've got some time in. Thanks for checking it out, guys. We'll see you on the next one.